You know, we're here at Daddy's house, uh, Liz Blizz, Bad Boy Suits here in New York City. I'm talking to a good friend of mine, Justin Bobby Samson. <laughs> and um, Justin, one of the engineers here, he has a lot of recording and all that studio stuff you guys don't be see. Justin, um, thanks again for sitting, us, sitting down with us here at Liz Blizz. And I want to ask you, first of all, I seen all the equipment here in, um, in the studio. I seen all these people around. Can you explain to me uh, in a summarized version what it you know what is it what's the process of making making a record uh, from a start long, to finish? It's a, like a for a whole album, it's a long process. Like right now, we in year number two of this album, Last Train of Paris, should be out sometime 2010. But it's a it's a it's a definite long process. It normally starts with these guys, producers. They normally submit stuff, you know. The yeah, our department goes through, selects stuff, they gives it to the artist, and everything gets approved. Mm -hmm. For us, out, every the process is different for everybody. Like you know, different people do things differently. But here, you know, because of who we work with, he you know, he has a, like a control over everything. So sorry. That's all right. Everything's like hands on for him. So he has to approve everything. Once it's approved, you know, he gets it written to, you know, he might have one of his in house writers write to it, or he might bring somebody in, some big famous writer like LaShawn Daniels or somebody like that. And then reference it, get it approved, and then the artist comes in and, you know, replaces the reference vocals. And yeah. Then it ends up in one of those bigger rooms that I showed you and mix. Mm hmm. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So, like, let me, like, well, I need to say, um, this this project course, you know, like, you guys, like, the second year working it so far. Yeah. Um, but is it like an average, or like, there's sometimes it might take shorter to do? It's, there's no average, like, for the whole, making a whole band process, we did a whole album in a month. Okay. In a month. Some yeah. albums longer, you know, two, three months, some two years, ten years. It depends. Mm -hmm. it, you know, there's a lot of different things involved, you know, from budgets. So you know, label politics and all that stuff. All right. You know, and I mean, Leon, I know you were um, you were speaking to myself and Marvin about somebody on the big arts that been through. Yeah, this. everybody's been through. Everybody. Give me some names now. Let's say everybody. <laughs> From Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, yes. Jay Z, Pharrell and the Neptunes. Um, Tony Braxton, Elephant Man, <laughs> name it, and the Assassin, <laughs> Eminem. Rick Ross, Lupe Fiasco. A long, a long every, list. Every, of heavy hitters. Everybody. Every, when I say everybody, everybody. Dave Grohl, food guy from Led Zeppelin, Page, he was mm. all that stuff. Everybody. So, you I mean, you guys, I mean, so I guess, you know, sometimes when you hear Bad Boy in your daddy's house, this is, you know, this is in a pop studio, you might think it's only hip hop that goes down here recording no, everything. Everything. Whatever he's in the mood for. And as he was telling us earlier, um, this daddy's house is more like his personal. Yeah. Studio, right? It's, yeah. more it's not. It's not like a commercial studio, like um, Sean King or one of the bigger studios. This is like his. It's all label related. So, or you got to be a personal friend of his. Like last last year, Heavy D did his album here. It was a reggae album. I remember that. Yeah. I'm, um, if I wasn't mistaken, that was a Grammy nominated album, yeah. right? So, I guess you know, shouts to Justin. You know, doing some Grammy nominated work. You know, big props to that. But um, no big deal. No big deal. And I mean, I know just now I spoke to you also about um some of you. You mentioned a lot of the established artists, and we have a bunch of upcoming artists. For instance, you know, here and my boy uh, J Cole. Like, so what are some of the young artists that, you know that coming through or came through that you could probably give us an idea? Some of the talent we could look out for. Um, all right, you have Christian Rich, mm -hmm. one, probably my one of my favorites right now. Okay. Um, J Cole has been here. Um, who else has been here? Reese. She's in a group called Idol Worship with Talib Kweli. Um, these are just some of the people we can look out for that, you know, yeah, upcoming. There's a whole bunch of artists here, like I see him. He's a bad boy artist. He's been on here for a while. Mm -hmm. um, his stuff is coming out thanks to um, Okay. So at least, you know, I'm giving you guys an inside scoop, you know, uh, we, you know, we mentioned so many big artists, but we also want to let you guys know so many people to look out of. So listen to what the same name Justin is called. Pretty much look up to see what these people are gonna do in the future, cause you know you never know the young talent where they're gonna come from next week, next big hit gonna come from. There's some more trend audience here. There's a lot of them out here right now. Oh, for real? Like Anya Lee, she's one of the. She's yeah. Crazy. She's yeah. crazy. 
just trying to get her in a situation. Okay, 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 okay. She's doing this. Do you have a flash for you? Yeah. It's not recorded, but she had a couple of meetings in here with the A&R department and, you know, some exits. And something I want to, like, pinpoint and point to you guys, um, I know... Some of you might see, you know, the, the you might think, you know, this whole entertainment business recording is just, you know, a bunch of glamour and stuff. Tell me a little bit about your 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 work hours and stuff, Justin. Tell them a little bit about how hard you guys work in here. It's not just about. I haven't been home yet. This is <laughs> twenty-four hours a day. Exactly. You guys re- like what? What's somebody time you record? You know, I mean, I know, but I want you guys to tell people what, like, somebody time in the morning. Like or you see, there's no windows in this place. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. No, you, know. Know. No, you come in the same beat for at least six hours straight sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Just to take one thing. How long, tell them how long it takes us to fix a click on the beat. Like, if there's a little, a little, just a little piece that's off. Yeah. Like, through the whole song. Sometimes it takes oh, two, three real. hours yeah. listening to the same thing. Sometimes not even a full song, just one instrument over and over. <laughs> Shit, that'll send people, regular people crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So you see, you guys, you know, by thinking, you know, these guys always party, and they, these guys work really hard. There's no just walking around with bling around your neck and all that type of stuff. These guys here right now, I mean, I'll, you, of course, you guys, you know, you've seen some footage of them. They, you know, they're rocking this regular clothes because they, they're just working right now. It's not about what you see in the videos. Because, um, you know, people get a misconception, you know, they think, you know, everybody that's always blinged out. That's, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. Walking around with a big chin on bottle. Yeah, you know, you bling all the time in your corner, you see a bunch of bling around your no, that's not, that's not a regular day. That's only just for housewives. <laughs> <laughs> nah, to, to, to make it in here is a lot of years of dedication. You gotta really love this. People, I know it sounds cliche, but mm-hmm. you really have to love what you do to, you know, to put in this kind of hours and this kind of work and, you know. Because, I mean, you told me you haven't slept in uh, a while and it's taking, it's still taking time when to talk to me. You gotta go work with, work with them, you know, these guys sure. afterwards. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it really seems like a lot of dedication that goes into it. Yeah. And um, do you have any uh, friends? So, say somebody you just like how you know you start up in Trinidad, a young guy coming up, you end up in bad boy. We give one, you know, the, the best in the business. You have any kind of advice? I like to ask people like that, you know, they could give to anybody who might be interested in it. Advice? I don't know. If, if it's something that you love and it's something that you want to do, then you know, put your all into it. You know, do your research. You can, you know, go to school if you can. You know, and just stick with it. All right, then I want to ask you. The biggest thing. What's that? Dedication is the biggest thing. No All right. And before I know I was talking to you, and um, I didn't record it, um, just tell me a little bit about how he started off in this whole, you know, from, from home. I know you mentioned from where you start from scratch, how you started off in this business. Well, back home, I used to, you know, I was a DJ. Um, back on 98.9, I worked on um, Hot 93 as a um, production assistant. Um... And I came here for school. I went to um, Savannah College of Art and Design, Institute of Audio Research. Very good school, the best. Yeah. And then um, I was lucky enough, I had an internship with one of the old engineers who used to work here, who actually worked for Big and Craig Mack back in the day. Mm-hmm. And he was impressed with me, so he passed me over here. Okay. And, and then Trulak just came in and that's how we... Uh, yeah, and just kind of fit in and that was it. That's so in 2010. Now, how long have you been working here now, Justin? Two years. Two years. Two years. So, I mean... You've seen a lot of artists. You've seen, you know, you recorded a lot of a lot of artists. Name some of the people you know. You you per, you know personally have worked with. Um, Heavy D, Puff Daddy, of course. Um, Christian Rich, Danny D. Kane, Day Twenty Six, Donny Clang, Jay Z, uh, Elephant Man. Um, you, call I mean, <laughs> you could go on and on. Yeah, that's, I mean, that list, uh, that list of names we just call there alone is pretty much a bunch of heavy hitters. So I really, you know, um, I appreciate you taking the time, Justin, because I know you ain't sleep and all that. I know, I know what is going in this business, you know, not in this party business, but anything in business, anyone I know is a lot of hard work. So I, t- I appreciate you taking the time out to talk to us and, um, anyway, stay true to your homeboys at least, you know. For real.